Hi, I'm Ali, and I'm one of the developers of the Simply Wise app. Now, if you've been using our app, likely the most common way that you've been getting receipts into the app is by tapping on that blue camera right at the bottom of the screen, taking a photo of the receipt and scanning it in. But if you have a receipt that is outside of the Simply Wise app, let's say it's in your phone camera or it's in your email, or you received the receipt by text message, you can also get those receipts into the app. And today we're gonna go over how. So let's start with the, the example of a text message receipt. So I do this pretty commonly now. Um, whenever I go to a coffee shop or a restaurant, maybe a bar, and I get a digital receipt, I'll have the options to print it, text it, or email it. And sometimes I will text it. So let's I'll show you my text messages and a recent text receipt. Okay, here it is. This is from the day of that eclipse, April 8th, 2024. And when I tap on the receipt, um, this is for the rooftop bar <laughs> that I went to watch the eclipse at, 235th rooftop bar. So you'll see here, I'm in my Safari app, and this is just you know a web, um, a website um, that was linked to from that text message. Now, if I tap on that share icon right in the middle at the bottom of the screen, right in the middle of the tray right there, then I have the ability to share it. So I'm gonna tap on that. So as you might know, if you've used this button before, you can use that to share it, to text it to someone or to email it to someone. But right down here, if you swipe over, you can use this to get that receipt into the SimplyWise app. So I'm gonna tap on SimplyWise. And actually, before I do, I will just comment that if you haven't texted or received them before, it might not appear down here, in which case, You'll want to scroll to the very end, tap on more, and it will come up under suggestions. SimplyWise will be one of the things uh, that you can share to. For now, I'm going to go back and I'm going to share this receipt into my SimplyWise app. Now, when you send a receipt um, from outside of the app in by share dialog, it's a very similar flow to if you took a photo of the receipt in the app. So you'll see here, the receipt is digitized. If I tap into this receipt image and I tap in again, I can see uh, what I just saw on that web view of the page. I'm gonna tap on the X here and then tap on back, um, back to my receipt details screen. Um, it picked up, it knew that this was a restaurant receipt um, because I had left a tip. Um, you can see down here, it digitized not only the merchant, the date, the total and tip, um, but also my line items. I'm gonna go back. The one thing I will warn you about is often when you, um, with these uh, text message or sometimes even email receipts, they will not have the information of the card. Um, and in this case, as you'll see right here, SimplyWise knew that it was a visa, but it didn't pick up the numbers from this receipt. Um, so if you want, you can go in and um, tap in and add that information. For now, I'm just gonna tap on back. Uh, I could add in any notes here. I could say this was from the Eclipse drinks. Tap on done. And finally, you can save it away just like you save any receipt. So I'm going to tap on folders to categorize this. I'll put it in personal for right now. I'm going to tap on save, save. And there we are. That text message receipt is now saved into the app. Now I'm gonna show you something else that you can do. Let's say that I have an email receipt. I go into my email and I will look for a recent receipt. Let's see, here is a recent Uber receipt. Um, now, how do I get this kind of receipt into the Simply Wise app? Um, so I'm going, to tap, I'm going to go back to my app really quickly, um, and I'm going to tap on the menu in the upper left-hand corner. And you'll see here, right under integrations, that you can connect different accounts to SimplyWise, including your email, which I'm going to tap on now. Now, if I sync my email, if I actually give SimplyWise um, permission to OAuth into my account, um, then SimplyWise will automatically pull out any receipts or invoices or bills that it identifies. But you also have the ability to manually forward in email receipts. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So if I tap on manually forward, you'll see that every SimplyWise user is given a unique SimplyWise email address. And if I tap on copy email, 
and then navigate back to that email receipt. I'm going to do now. If I forward this receipt to that email address, it will appear in my SimplyWise app. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to tap on reply. I'm going to tap on forward. I'm going to tap right in that two line and paste my unique SimplyWise email address. And that's it. I'm going to tap on send. And in the next few minutes, that receipt will appear in the app um, for me to digitize. Sorry, for me to file away. Now I'm going to tap on back right now to get myself back to the home screen. Back, back, back. Um, and when that receipt comes in, it will appear in my to be saved section, which is that that uh, inbox looking thing in the right hand corner of the app that currently has um, four on it. These are Amazon receipts that I previously sent into the app. Um, so that's where that email receipt will come in. And I will just need to save it away just like it's any other receipt. I'm going to tap on back. And I'm going to show you one last way to get a receipt from off of your phone into the SimplyWise app without using that SimplyWise camera. And that is if I tap on the camera, but instead of taking a picture, if I tap on import, then I have the ability to get any photos from off of my phone into the app. Now, I could say, you can see here, I have some recent receipts that I've taken photos of. Um, so I could take a, I could select just one receipt and add that into the app. And it would be just like as though I had scanned, um, as though I had taken a photo of the receipt from within the app. Um, but I also have to have the ability to batch upload receipts from my iPhone photos. So I could say, I want you to include all of these in the app. And if I tap on add right here, it knows that this is in batch mode. You can see this right down here, it's batch right here. And if I tap on done, now all of those receipts are being sent into my to be saved section. And I will have the ability to tap in and categorize each one. So if I tap through, I'll just tap through one of them right now to show you. If I tap through one, uh, you can see it, it detected that this is a duplication. I have already saved this receipt in SimplyWise. Uh, but you'll see here, just like anything else, it has taken all of the information from the receipt. And if I tap on folder, I can categorize it and save it away. I'm actually not going to do that yet, though. I'm going to tap on back right now and back one more time to get myself back to that to be saved section to show you one last thing that in the event that you are sending, let's say, a lot of emails or a lot of text message receipts or importing a lot of email, uh, receipt photos from your iPhone or, or Android camera, you also have the ability to bulk save items. So I could say, look, all of these items should go under a personal. If I want to do that, you see these boxes right here on the right-hand side? Well, if I check, 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 check them, then I have the ability to bulk delete, but also bulk categorize those four receipts. So I could say, let's put all of those away in personal. And when I tap on save, all of those will be saved away. And that is how you get receipts from outside of the SimplyWise app into SimplyWise. Thanks for listening.